Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll tell you how to implement BCD counter or decade counter or mod 10 counter using IC7490. I'll also tell you how to implement mod 6 counter using IC7490. So IC7490 is a ripple counter IC. Ripple counter means a synchronous counter. So in asynchronous counter, external clock is connected to one flip-flop and output of first flip-flop acts as clock input to second flip-flop. So here, this is pin diagram of IC74 LS90. Here, it has two sections, mod 2 section and mod 5 section. Clock A is input to mod 2 section and clock B is input to mod 5 section. This is BCD counter. BCD means binary coded decimal. So, these numbers are from 0 to 9. So, this counter also counts from 0 to 9. And that is why name is given as decade counter 0 to 9. Mod 10, it means it will count 10 number of clock pulses. Mod 10 means 10 clock pulses. So, 10 clock pulses means in digital we always start with 0. So, 0 to 9 it will count total 10 clock pulses. So, to implement mod 10 counter we will connect external clock to clock A and output of first flip flop will act as clock input to second flip flop. So, QA will get connected to clock B. So, always to implement any counter using IC7490, external clock is connected to clock A and QA is connected to clock B. And here we have four outputs, QA, QB, QC and QD. Out of these four, QD is most significant bit and QA is least significant bit. Then we have pin number 10. So, see here. R1 and R2 are reset pins. S1 and S2 are set pins. Pin number 5 is VCC. QB, QC, QA, QD are outputs. Pin number 10 is ground. Pin number 13 is not connected. 14 is clock A where we connect external clock. And pin number 1 is clock B. So here to implement mod 10 counter, we are not going to reset in between. So we will connect our pin number 2 and 3 reset pins to ground so that this counter will count up to its maximum value and maximum value is 9 and we will also connect set pins to ground. So implementation of mod 10 counter is so easy you just need to connect R1 and R2 to ground, S1 and S2 to ground and QA to clock B. Now let's see how to implement let's take an example of mod 6 counter. Mod 6 counter means it will count from 0 to 5. How to write 6 in binary form? 6 can be written as 0, 1, 1, 0. So here QD is 0, QC is 1, QB is 1 and QA is 0. So here you can see my counter should count from 0 to 5. But as soon as number becomes 6, it should reset and it should again start counting from 0. So, here you need to identify the outputs which are 1. So, here QB and QC are 1. So, I will take QB and QC. I will connect them to input of AND gate. So, that when both of them will become 1, then output of this AND gate will become 1 and I will connect it to reset pin. I will connect it to reset pin. So, as soon as both of them will become 1, output of this AND gate will become 1. It will reset this entire circuitry and our counter will start counting from 0. So, here set pins are connected to ground. Clock A will receive external clock. QA is connected to clock B and we will observe our output at QA, QB, QC and QD. Here QA is LSB and QD is MSB. To implement, let's say mod 8. Mod 8 means 0 to 7. So, binary equivalent of 8 is 1 triple 0. So, here you can see only QD is 1. So, what we can do to implement mod 8 counter using 7490? I will simply connect QD. I will choose 
outputs which are 1. So, I will simply choose QD and I will connect that QD to reset pins. So, as soon as QD becomes 1, my counter will reset and will start counting from 0. So, it will count from 0 to 7 only. So, 1 IC can count up to 9 only. Maximum count it can display is 9. So, to count more than 9, we need to take 2 ICs. And I have implemented mod 42 counter using 7490. The separate video is uploaded on the channel. The link is given in the description box. So, you can see how to implement mod NN counter using IC 7490. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share this video with your friends. Thank you.